Hidden among the towering magnolias and fragrant pines of Bon Secours, the Swift Coles historic home stands as a beguiling reminder of times past, a genteel lady that still welcomes visitors to explore the atmosphere of river life in the early 20th century. This stately Tidewater mansion, which has graced the shores of the Bon Secours River since 1910, started out with a much more simple floor plan. Uh, right behind me, you see the original part of the house that was built in 1882. This part of the house was actually a cabin uh, built in a style very typical of rural Alabama called dog trot, where their center hall was not enclosed. It was just a breezeway through, so of course a dog could just trot right through there, and that's the name dog trot. But this little cabin was destined for bigger things. And so was its next owner, Charles Swift, a future lumber baron who bought the little cabin along with thousands of acres of longleaf pine. So by 1900, uh, Mr. Swift and Susan um, Roberts, his wife, had uh, increased the house by several rooms with the wood, the heart pine that was milled right here on the property. They joked and said that they added a room every time that they had a child. Well, they raised 11 children here. So the 16-room mansion today is exactly like it was in 1910. The Swift's happy home eventually spread to 6,000 square feet, with an additional 3,500 feet of porches and verandas, and was occupied by members of the Swift family until 1976. It was purchased that same year and furnished in the exquisite taste of Nick Coles, an antiques dealer from nearby Gulf Shores. So when he moved here in 1976 to the home that he loved, his purpose was to restore it to its original glory and keep it there so that it would be preserved forever. Upon his death in 2007, Coles generously bequeathed the house to Baldwin County so that visitors could enjoy the timeless beauty of the architecture and elegance of the carefully chosen antiques that recreate late Victorian life on the Bon Secours. The Swift Coles Historic Home is open for tours on Tuesdays and Fridays. You could fall in love with the house as much as people in the generations past have as well.